Okay, can we talk about vocal reverb specifically for a minute? We can. I've stolen this concept from you, except I've really simplified it for my small redneck mind. Okay? <laughs> so now that we don't have any restraints on time, talk to me about the process of blending the reverbs, all the ones that you use, why you're using the ones you're using, yeah. and why I should bow down. Why you should just do better. Yes. Just do better work. Yeah. Um, my whole thing with effects, and it, it's really not elaborate. It, it always sounds elaborate and thick, and how'd you do all that? It's, it's really not. Here was my reasoning. Originally, when I started getting enticed by effects and how it could make things just sound, it made it sound easier to the ear. I've never appreciated just a dry, dry vocal, uh, specifically vocal. I, I just think something to make it sound a little more natural. Usually when you hear a vocal in a room, there's some kind of ambience around it and it just, whatever. Yep. So I started playing around with how do I uh, artificially make that happen sure. in a room. So that was really where it was. I could never seem to find a reverb patch just on its own that just made me go, yeah, that sounds like what I am hearing in my head. That was it. So we can blame it on manufacturers from 25 years ago. Okay. So that was really where it came from. Well, it's kind of grown into more of an art and creating uh, more textures that seem to be part of some of the songs we do. Okay. And a lot of the bands I work with and have worked with have really appreciated some of what it brings to the music. Does it have to be there? No, it, not at all. It's really an additive thing. It's a plus. It's yeah. almost like the way some synth patches have evolved over time with some of the extra layering and that's the right. extra stuff that you hear that's inside right. it. It's, you can do a pad, that's fine, it can, but that's get right. some of these more complex things and it They've just got adds some layers a layer underneath. So it's all layering. Textures. So it's just, and why they're there. So I started finding out that some patches you would use sound really good on the initial uh, hit of the effect. Like the like early the reflection? End, the, early, the early reflection. The front end is like, wow, it just kind of opens up. But as it trails, as I'm trying to get it to be longer, it starts getting thin and you start hearing the problems in the algorithm. Yeah, okay. okay? So that's easy. Then I go, well, but I really want something that does that and has something in the middle, in the meat of the vocal, what's happening, that just sounds like a vocal and will enhance the meat of the consonant or the or the s sound that's being being put out okay so so now you got two that are like well if i could find one that did both then i'd use it well i just haven't found that and then you get to the effect part which is the trail the tail of the effect where you usually add the length and you go man i want something to just and just go forever yeah. So trying to find something that has all those characteristics as one device has eluded me. Okay. It just has eluded me. I get that. Okay, so, so that's, that makes sense. So now, how can you go through and, so you've got, say you have three effects. Well, how am I going to make all those work? Well, you use the stuff we've been talking about on the console. You can EQ each one. You can use the controls within the individual effects themselves to control the early reflection, to control the decay, the size, the, the, decay size, time, the reverb time, diffusion. the room size. So it's just going through each one of those and finding out how does it work with another one. Yep. So if I, like, if I hear a verb and go, I really like the tail of that, well, I can use the pre-delay and like back that reverb off. And the pre-delay basically just means um, the delay, the, the reverb part of that is going to start 25 milliseconds after the initial input. Yeah. yeah. So if I'm going to do that and I like the way that reverb reacts, I could use something else in that 25 milliseconds. And early reflection. Right. Got it. But I'm using different layers to do that instead of trying to do it all with one. Gotcha. So let's hear it. Yeah. So let's just put up. So we just pulled up a vocal here and it happens to have um, one, two, three, four, five, six different effects on it. And it was part of the song. It made this texture happen. So 
We'll just. Uh, you said six. Six. Okay. Six just reverbs. Yeah. I'm still working There's on a, three. <laughs> so we'll just kind of see how this works together. Um, again, the song wouldn't be ruined if you did one, but I think it became magical by adding this many. Okay. So. 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 So he's just singing. There's a lot of verb. I'm going to hit stop and we'll hear the tail. And it's over. Got it. It's pretty, pretty long setup. Yeah. So it's most really people, thick. Most people, if they tried to use something that long, it would just muddy everything up. Right. Because it would all be happening all right. at the same time. So, and we'll go through this. What I'm using for some of these that are uh, to get the length, the patch I'm using doesn't have much on the front end. So it doesn't cloudy the initial vocal that he's singing. Gotcha. Right? So let's do it again, and we'll just kind of go through some of these. Um, in fact, we'll just solo this. So now we can just go through these one at a time. So the one that I'm using, so this is just. It's pretty bright. It's really bright, but it's got a lot of high mid in there. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. So, as it's going, it's got a lot of high mid in there, which actually helped his vocal have a little presence with this huge band behind him. I get it. Okay? All right, so we'll keep going. So, the next one. I'll turn it up. It's That's like the body of the sound. It's dark. It's dark, but it's like that low mid thing. So, you right. got the high mid from one, low mid from the other. That's like a locker room. Yes. But it's and not it's, as long and it's not as big. No. It's just in there. It's just adding some presence to the low end of his voice, which you didn't get from the other one. Got it. And the other one actually doesn't do that. It doesn't sound right, okay? So we keep going down. So this next one is where I get the actual trail or tail of the, of the sound. That's really cool. It's all cool. from this guy. Very cool. Okay, so that one. But listen to the front end of it. I see. That one's not getting in the way of... It's not getting in the way of the initial part of his vocal. Yeah. Right? Okay? So now... I've got another one that I just use, I call it ambience on here, okay? Here's what it sounds like. Now this is what I'm using to accentuate the very front end of his consonants. Yeah. Right. And there's you hear, not... You hear the very front of the word the on this very front, yep. and that's it. So none of the other ones that we've listened to have done that, right? So then the last one I've got on here is kind of a bigger one. Okay. Now that one, that one's kind of a generic, all-purpose, just... Got it. That's the one if you were going to only use one. It's like a catch-all. I'd probably put that one on. Just a basic so, haul kind that's of... That's right. Yep. So when you layer all those together, you end up with... You would never know that there's six in there. That's right. It just makes sense. And it sounds like this really nice, thick patch. That's now, very cool. within all that, within all that, we sit there and EQ each one differently, you know, work on it, all that kind of thing. But that's the overall premise of why the layering works. Got it. So just for a second, could you go back to the individual ones and just mute a couple so we can hear how it changes sure. without it. So I'll just go one at a time, I'll just mute it. That's a huge significant. Change. Just from that one going away. Another. Wow.
Okay, that's I'm a unreal. little blown away. When you turned the first one off, I thought, oh, that's all of it. It's all on that one. But right. be surely, because it was so much of that upper mid that disappeared. Yeah. But it, I thought, it kept happening. In equal amounts. Yeah, right. So that's kind of the magic of it. And if you just sit there and have a little time, this doesn't take like 12 hours. If you're spending that long, quit. Don't worry about it. Uh -oh. Just do something else. Like so, with my life? So you should probably just quit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have to use six. You don't have to use six. You can you use, could two, use or two or three. three yeah. and, just, and that's where I started with was how could I take two, these two reverbs and make them nice? So I used a short and a long. Yeah. And I noticed that all the long reverbs I was using like just sounded better uh, with a really short one on the front end. And I just hooked them together and I used a little corrective EQ and it was like, well, that just sounds a lot better than one by itself. And you could add and pre delay to the there. long one. That's right. So you get the body of the and short you just one. Mess and mess around. Then, yeah, and again, cool. I did all this on analog when I first started. So now this is really cool. I can sit here and go in rehearsal mode and listen to it over and over and over, and it's really great. So it's a good exercise to sit there. And I did most of this with my own vocal. Just talk in a microphone and just listen to what it does and make some adjustments and save it and get used to what it does. Once you get comfortable with it, all the like mystery kind of goes away. Yeah. And then it just becomes natural to go, yeah. oh, okay, I'll just dial this in. Well, and I, it works. I honestly feel like I understand it another level past Good. what I did a few minutes ago. Good. But I've been trying for about six years. <laughs> and like every time we have a detailed conversation like this, I feel like I unlock a little more. So yeah. that's great. That's good. I hope you go change your mix for this weekend. I absolutely will. Okay.